the that's the big big part of it. That's what I think. I but did, I did see because there's, there's a big there's a really there's quite a weird um, there's almost a, ro a robotic machine like vibe from them, isn't there? Where they like don't look like they're tired, so they've got it. And he always harps on about that. But this is in a, this is in a division that like arguably I guess since like Wenger or something they've been looking for those percentages, but somehow Klopp's got more percentages out of yeah out of those players. Yeah, there was another. What Is was he choosing it? players because of their fitness as well, because their ability to? I think some of it, yeah, because he likes he likes Lallana, doesn't he? Well. He puts Lallana on because he runs it? around like yeah. a bit of a headless chicken, <laughs> but isn't um, never. You never think, oh wow, what a pass by Lallana or something. You or know? What a finish, but <laughs> nah. the odd one. But yeah, yeah, the it man you equaliser. Reminds me a bit of Joe Cole. Like end product was nearly zero. Yeah, he just flat can't just shoot. Just, yeah, <laughs> Manaman used to be the same. He the yeah. Steve, no, he used to have like go, play, but yeah. go around nine players and then just drag it wide. You'd be like at, slowly as well. <laughs> do, do any of these have names? Uh, Tony and Kadir, the two black and enemies. Right. One's from Mali, and big big Tony's from uh, Uganda, I think. Mm. So yeah, Are the only two named fish. Yeah, that's I think so. Honor, Sherbet. Emma called that one Sherbet, and that's it really. You got. Um, and do you actually look at it now that it's up? Not enough. I care for it, check it's all all right, check the water levels, but I don't sit there therapeutically and stare at it like you should do to, um, but if you do, to you see- To de-stress, is that it? Is yeah, no, nah, no, to see new, yeah, just to see new stuff. Looking through the front of it, it looks to me, it's like I'm wearing a pet, it's like I'm wearing the glasses that I should be wearing. Do you know what I mean? There's, there's some kind of magnification going on. Yeah, it is. Um, I do need glasses. Not. I oh do. Oh, is it weird? Is it playing havoc on your yeah, eyes? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice though. I like what I find fascinating is when they, as it matures and more, more things appear that you never even put in there that you didn't stock. The other, one night I came down and there was just about 200 baby snails all along the glass. Never ever seen them again since. But they, they got, got eat, immediately. No, got no, eaten. no, no, no. They had shells. <laughs> they had shells. It's like I thought. You'd, uh, yeah. Mm. They were just all, all along here. And never seen them again. The, the entire stock of my, the fish pond in my mum and dad's house garden was arrived in some weed, and they were there for like 15 years. These goldfish that started yeah. out black, like sort of crucians, then turned into orange. goldfish. We never bought a fish. Yes, and mad, they were there it? for years. Yeah, they can survive a nuclear war, <laughs> then can't they? <laughs> They can, can't they? Well, goldfish. Goldfish and crucians can I'm survive. Sure, I'm pretty sure on The Simpsons, one of them's got three eyes. Yeah, they can literally survive anything. Due to the power plant at Springfield. <laughs> don't watch The Simpsons. I haven't watched it for years, but I do. Uh, you look like a character from it, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you could be in The Simpsons if someone, you could, they, <laughs> you're a caricature look, aren't you? Got Big Burn at the, <laughs> Big Burn at the Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot's laughing at that one. These are uh, a good looking suit. Not Literally like make it as you go along, don't you? Not a deformed, uh, <laughs> not, not a deformed. Not, not a three-eyed goldfish. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> or Sideshow Bob. That's David Louis, isn't it? They sent uh, off last night. Yeah, it? it was, yeah. yeah they, don't, um, they don't often send people off after giving a penalty, do they? So it was, he literally mm. had an open goal, didn't he? That's why he got sent off. Big first question, really. Big first question coming. Oh. Got to get it out. It's like squeezing a turd yeah. out. <laughs> that's, that's staying in. Yeah. <laughs> Gone. Nearly 20 years ago, Al, I walked into a shop in Cheshire and bought a set of rods that my mum and dad had bought me for passing my degree. And you came out and brought the rods and gave them to me. 20 years ago, did you have a plan? Did I have a plan? Uh, yeah, I had some sort of plan. Yeah, m more than I think a lot of students have today or people that have gone to uni, I had a vision. I really wanted to get work in the angling industry, hence why I was in, in Trev's at the time. And um, also I was doing work for Sky at the same time and working in a pub. And then I carried on working at Trev's when I started my first job in a marketing company because I loved it that much, the, the connection with the fishing industry. So yeah, I think, when you lay it all on the table um, over the years, from even as a young kid, you realise that intensity for fishing was more than any other, any, anything else in your life. I think my dad and mum and dad see it now. They're like, 
if you get a child that shows that much enthusiasm for something, you should really, you should really nurture it and let them chase their dreams because in today's society, I think kids are, you know, encouraged to do certain things maybe that, that but following the arts and the maybe more theatrical media jobs don't, aren't always, aren't always obvious routes for people, but it, the, that passion counts for a lot. Thank <laughs> you.